In seventh grade, all my friends and I made a pact to never touch drugs or alcohol. Now, that may sound kind of corny, but we were all smart kids, and we understood how harmful they can be to our bodies and to our lives. We stuck by this pact for the rest of middle school, but once we got to high school, things started to change. In ninth grade, we lost one of our friends. In 10th grade, we lost a few more. In 11th grade, we had lost almost everybody, and now, I'm the only one left. I'm the only one who stuck with the pact, and honestly, I'm not surprised. You see, things change, people change. You can't expect them to stay the same. But one thing you have to understand is that high school brings about so many pressures and influences which kids oftentimes don't know how to deal with, so they turn to drugs and alcohol as a cope. Believe it or not, by the end of 8th grade, 37% of students have drank alcohol, and by the end of high school, that number's risen to 72%. In 2013, over 10,000 people were killed in alcohol-impaired driving collisions. Now, alcohol is dangerous, but it's not the only pressure that students have to deal with. In 2014, 21% of high school seniors smoked marijuana. Now, I don't want to bore you with my statistics, but believe it or not, one marijuana joint can cause as much damage to your lungs as up to five cigarettes. Damn. Freaky, right? I always heard about peer pressure growing up, but I kind of just shrugged it off, you know? I almost acted as if it wasn't a real thing. But I assure you, after witnessing these pressures firsthand and seeing how much my friends have changed, it is, in fact, a real thing. Listen, the fact of the matter is, nobody can stop you from doing what you want to do, but I encourage you to reassess your aims and your motives for what you're doing. In the end, you have complete control of the decisions you make. But remember, you are a reflection of your five closest friends, so if you hang out with a bunch of bums, what do you expect you're going to resemble? So I guess I'll just end you guys with one idea, and that is, if you can't have fun with your friends when you're sober, maybe you don't have the right friends. Think about it.